In this video, we're going to have a wee look at charts and graphs in Excel. Really, really straightforward. Let me show you how. So we have some basic data, just departments and numbers of staff. Clicking anywhere within the data set, I'm going to go to Insert along the ribbon at the top. And then you'll see we have a whole section in the middle, all looking at charts. And a helpful thing to do is to click on recommended charts. This is when Excel will recommend back to you the charts that will work best for the data set that you have provided. So click on recommended charts and you will see um, the various options that are. It's recommending a clustered column is the best way to present this data. If you click on the next tab, all charts, it gives you every single chart that is available in Excel uh, for your data set. You really need to make sure that you can use column, line, pie charts and bar graphs. That's really, really important. So let's just keep the clustered column happy enough with that. I'm going to press OK. And now a graph has appeared in my worksheet that actually I can make bigger, smaller, I can move around. You can copy and paste this um, or insert it into you know, PowerPoint, or, um, Word or whatever. So we have the basics here. Now what you'll see on the ribbon, we now have a chart design option and this whole ribbon here is all to help you improve the look of your chart. Now probably one of the quickest things and the best things you can use is this here quick layout and if you go to the small sort of drop down triangle there and click on it you will see if you hover over each little box it will show you sort of different ways to present your information. So that can be quite a, sort of a helpful way and a quick way to start um, showing the, the, the chart the way, you, the way you want. Now it's very important that when we are using chart graphs that we are labelling it properly. You can see from, from this example that it has taken my headings and put that into a graph, but there's nothing for the x-axis and there's nothing uh, for the y, the vertical and the horizontal. So if, for example, there is a title, number.staff, maybe, you know, that doesn't look great, so maybe I could change it to um, staffing numbers by department. So really have a look at have a look at um, titles and make sure it looks professional. All right. Um, something else we can do within this element of the chart design is we can actually add start adding up our own chart elements. So you see we have here, for example, chart title. Well, we've already given a chart title, but we can show it. You know, not having one above the chart center. There's various things that you can do. You can also think about how you want to name your um, horizontal and vertical axis. So if we do axis title, so the primary horizontal, and you'll see when I highlight onto that, look at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, if you look at the bottom, it's got axis title, it's giving us space. So I could click on that, I could go into the box, and I could just, let's call that department there. And then if I go back to add chart layout, uh, chart element, I'm sorry, and go back into titles, we could then look at our vertical option and let's just call that um, staffing numbers. And so you see that we are building up this chart into something that's easier to read. So the chart element is worth having a look down and just looking at all the different options that you've got um, to make your graph look better. So we've got chart element, we've got quick layout, you can change the colour scheme if you wish by changing colour and you'll see the chart styles right along the top is um, changed also. And again within the, the chart styles you can hover across each one and they all look just slightly different. Some quite interesting uh, templates and shapes there for you to use. So the chart styles, you hover, what, what, you hover along. If you see something you like, you click on it, and there you have it. Now, another thing that you can do, and I'm still here in chart design, and I'm looking here at switching column and row. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. And let's just try and switch this, and it won't, it won't look great. Um, well, not not so much. All right, and, and switch it, um, switch it back. We've also got um, an option there to change the chart type. So if you've 
come up with a column and you want it turned into a pie chart, we can go back and we can change it into something different. So let's say putting it into a, a, a pie chart, press OK, and then again, now you're in the pie chart, you've got these options is to show, show it in different ways with different bits of information. So lots and lots of things you can do just by staying in the chart design tab and working your way along and looking to see how you can best improve it. Now sometimes you might be asked to show the chart as a sheet uh, on its own. So at the moment you see it's an object in uh, our chart tab. If I was to go to move chart, click on that, and I was to click new sheet and press OK, Look at the bottom and we now have chart one, it's been named, and that now is a full size version of your chart. If you don't want to do that, if you want to move it back, if you need to copy and paste it into something else, another document, just go back to move chart and then move it from new sheet and then click on object in and it takes you back to where you started. So lots of options. Now I'm just going to move on to the next tab along the bottom here and I just wanted to show you something I've touched on earlier. Let's say you have some information and you don't want all the information to go into your chart. So let's imagine that we want to show the month and we just want to show the costs. So we want the month and we want the costs. But I highlight the month I click on to column C, not working. So remember, if you want to keep some information um, copied down, so I'm going to copy here, um, highlight, sorry, put my finger on the control key on my keyboard, keep it pressed down, and now I can also select costs. So I've got months, I'm missing at column B and C. So I'm just going to create a chart based on A and C. So again, insert, I'll go for recommended charts, have a look at what I see, or all charts, but recommended charts, click OK, OK, there comes all my chart design options again. We can look to improve the look of this by changing the title, the axis, and so on. So that is the basics of chart design in Excel. Hope that helps.